Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 21st. No, the 22nd. It's around the 22nd. So, what do we have for around the 22nd? Timing is fluid. This reading is really timeless. What do we have for around the 22nd? Around the 22nd. Looks like we have the King of Wands here. The King of Wands. This person is uh, given to take action. We have somebody here that is about to take action. It's as though they have come up with a plan. They're ready. Very confident. Fearless. We have a fearless individual here that is ready to go. Lovers reversed, so we know the lovers reversed is a separation, right? It's conflict, it's disharmony. We have a disconnection here of a partnership. Somebody is detaching from a partnership. They've made up their mind. This is a separation. There's broken relationship issues. There's disharmony. This is the end of a contract. This is the boss making a decision to end a contract of some sort. There's no, this isn't working out. The lack of harmony. Somebody's not putting in very much effort. There's no growth left. Very dissatisfied with the outcome. So we have somebody here. This is somebody that is, has made up their mind. There's no growth here. There's no reason to stay. There's no reason to keep doing this. This is the boss. Could be a father that is making a decision. Could be a boss, a father, a husband. Whoever this person is, their mind is made up. There's no reason to keep going in this direction. There's, there's, this is a dead end. It's time to relocate. Five of Cups reversed. There's a lot of regrets. There's some extreme sadness here. This is moving on. There's been a, there's, this is like it's time to focus on the future. There's been prolonged grief. There's, 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 uh, it's time to go. It's time to leave the past hurts behind. It's time to go. There's nothing left here. <laughs> The moon reversed. Reality check. We may have a, a Pisces or a Cancer that is going to get a reality check. Doesn't have to be. Could be a Gemini. Gemini right here. Now, the, the moon reversed is truth coming out. No hiding. This is a release of fear. There's been some sort of sneaky behavior. All is not as it seems. Somebody is, is about to reveal something. They're about to reveal. It's like a wake-up call of some sort. This is uh, seeing the truth. Somebody is seeing the truth about a partner that they have been dealing with. They're seeing exactly who they're dealing with. They invested in this person because they didn't see. Now they see that this isn't, it isn't meant to be. It isn't meant to be. There's going to be a separation. Somebody regrets investing in another person. They do regret it. They regret investing in an illusion. Okay, they were fed some sort of illusion. It felt good for a minute, but it doesn't feel good anymore. Ah, <sighs> Hierophant reverse. This is definitely a broken marriage or a broken relationship with the Hierophant and the lovers reversed. It is. We have an individual that has been having a hard time doing the right thing. This is a father type of figure. Okay, a father figure that has been having a hard time doing the right thing because of society, was under a lot of social pressure. Um, now there's a feeling of disgrace. 
There's a relationship that is no longer on the same page. We could have a divorce that is coming or a separation, a marriage or end of a marriage, end of a commitment. It doesn't have to be marriage, but this is the end of a commitment. It really is with the lovers in the uh, hero font reversed. And it's it's like it, it's uh, there's been some sort of denial for a while. There's been some sort of illusion. There's been hiding the truth. There's been sneaky behavior. There's been self-deception. There's been deception, period. Now there's a, some extreme regrets here. Um, somebody may not be getting what they thought they were going to get. This person is taking action. They were under a lot of social pressure, had a hard time doing the right thing. They may not believe in themselves. They may not may not have believed in a higher power. They may not have been listening to their gut, listening to their intuition. But now they see the truth in a matter. They see the truth that there's a lack of harmony with another person. There's just a lack of compatibility. And there's lies. There, there's lies. Somebody may be realizing that who they're dealing with is a liar or something like that. And they may have some extreme regrets for dealing with this person. Anyhow, the Hierophant reversed is relationship problems. Um, this is taking a non-traditional approach as well. This person is taking action and it's not going to be in a traditional manner. Okay. Page of Swords reversed. This is bad news. This is bad news. It's a message that you don't want to hear. This is a pending conflict. This is a conflicting message. A message is coming. It may not be what you want to hear. Okay. There could be news of legalities. We definitely have a liar here. Somebody has been lying. And the truth is coming out about what they've been lying about. feels like we have like a hostile situation here. Somebody's been doing research and it feels like they've um, realized something through their research. Magician reversed. So we definitely have a pathological liar here. With the Page of Swords reversed, the Magician reversed, and the Moon reversed, we have, a, we have somebody here that lies a lot. A big, big, big liar. This is somebody that is very manipulative, very controlling. This is a trickster. Somebody that deceives effortless, effortless, I can't even say it, without effort. Okay, they know how to deceive very well. Um, somebody is also taking action without thinking. It's like they just decide it's time to go. Somebody is deciding it's time to break free from this. Um, they've been under another person's control. But now there's a lack of resources and, and, and they've been, there's been so much manipulation here with that moon reverse and the, and the magician reverse. Somebody has been highly manipulated by another person and this person is now seeing it. There's a lack of planning here. It feels like somebody is... Mm, there's a conflict that is coming. It's obviously unplanned. Um, we have a liar that is getting caught in their lies. Um, bad news. We have a conflict that is about to ensue. We have a deceptive individual that has been getting away with their deception. They've been getting away with sneaky behavior. They've been causing a lot of problems. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is about walking away, walking into something better. Because before that is the Eight of Cups. We have an individual that is choosing to walk away from some sort of partnership that is emotionally 
unfulfilling because they want something more. They have some sort of desire to have it all. They just want to have it all. They want happiness. They want extreme happiness. They want to... Uh, follow their dreams of some sort. Now this is about wish fulfillment. Abundance. Headed towards abundance. Somebody is walking away from a partnership that isn't compatible and they're headed towards abundance. But they've been highly deceived. Highly deceived. Knight of Wands reversed. Somebody's going to be doing something without thinking, I believe. This is this is uh this is a Knight of Wands reversed. This is rushing. This is out of control. This is this is uh a sudden departure of some sort. Somebody is making a sudden departure from a commitment. don't want this responsibility anymore. I just want to live the good life. I want a good, you know, effortlessly, effortlessly, effortless life. Whatever that means. I just want an easy life. I want it. I want easy. I don't, I don't want, this is too much. It's too much. I feel like there we have a sudden departure. Somebody suddenly decides to break a contract of some sort. This is a decision. It's like the decision is made to go after happiness. And now we got the Eight of Cups. Look at that. No. Nope. Four and three, seven. They choose another option. Somebody is choosing another option because of lies and deception. They've been lied to. And now they see the lies. They see clearly that they were lied to. And that's what springs the decision. They maybe have been doing some sort of research or investigation. They receive some information that gives them what they need that helps them to decide to leave. Anyway, we do it. I feel like we have a sudden departure here. Somebody suddenly leaves a contract or a partnership because they have a better option. The better option gets presented to them and they decide to take it. This is their way out. Um, I think it's very fast. I think there's a, there's a definitely very fast moving energy. So things happen fast. Things change fast. And I say that because I got the Knight of Swords on the bottom as well. And that's in the reverse. It could be extremely fast. We have, we definitely have an, we have, a, we have some sort of situation that, you know, somebody decides that they need to get out and they need to get out fast. They need to get out of here really, really, really fast. Or they decide to leave really, really fast. I feel like, uh, There's a lack of investment. Somebody didn't invest. They lied their way through. They lied their way the whole time. They lied the whole time. And now the truth is being seen. So this person is deciding to take action to... to it's almost like shift things. One more card. Knight of Cups. Follow their heart. And the Knight of Cups is somebody that is looking for a relationship that is very loving, that is very kind. There could also be an emotion. It can be very emotional, intense time. I feel like we have somebody that is searching for love, that wants love that wants peace, that wants forgiveness, that is very forgiving, but they're dealing with another individual who is a pathological liar, and the only way for them to find peace is to depart, okay? I feel like uh, somebody is doing something unpredictable. 
I do. I feel like they're doing something unpredictable. And I feel like what they're doing is following their heart in another direction away from this partnership that has been based on lies. Because there's a lot of lies here. A lot. Some truth is about to be revealed that changes somebody's direction instantly. It's like it, there's an instant change in direction because this truth comes out. It's like an instant disconnection as well. Okay? It's like an instant separation. It's like we're done. So anyway, I feel like there is going to be... Somebody's about to get a, a serious reality check. I think that they were... Uh, lying and they were getting away with it but now they're getting caught I feel as though um, seven of wands on the bottom that's about defense it's about a challenge about opposition or a fight somebody is about to you know I feel like they get in a fight they get in a fight and then you know it's a it's a it's a win or lose situation and one person wins and one person loses and the other per the winner walks away somebody's definitely going to be caught off guard by the news somebody's going to receive some news and it's definitely going to catch them off guard So anyway, I, there is also an offer of, of love here, okay? Somebody is following their heart. But wherever they're going, it feels like they're going to be met with some resistance. And I think they're going to be met with some resistance because they had a hard time doing the right thing in the past. And wherever they're headed, they're going to have to, it's almost like judgment. They're going to have to answer. You know, it's like they're going to be, it's like, hey, 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 hey. How come you didn't listen before? How come you didn't listen to your gut before? How come you went down this path? That kind of thing. So anyway, I think that you should be prepared for a message that makes you feel conflicted about somebody that may be extending, may, could be an apology. Or they're just, you know, maybe they want to take you out or something. Or something like that. And I think they've separated from somebody. I think that they've separated or they're separating now or something like that. And maybe they want a chance and, you know... You're going to have to discern the situation. I do believe that there is somebody that is offering, you know, it could be an invite or an apology or something like that. And you're going to, and it's going to bring you, make you feel uneasy. It's going to be like, wow, where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? It's coming because this person didn't work out with, the, with whoever they chose. It didn't work out. Okay, they made a poor choice and it didn't work out. Now they want an apology. Can you forgive? That is the question. My advice is to listen. Because I feel like this person has good intentions. Good luck.